What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. Now, ever since it was revealed that Doctor Strange 2 would indeed be titled In the Multiverse of Madness, there's been a ton of conjecture about who the main antagonists and protagonists of the film would be, maybe even one in the same in Scarlet Witch, as we know A, there'll be a direct lead-in, and B, we know what happens when Scarlet Witch sort of loses it, opening the door almost allegorically for a villain like Nightmare to actually be behind the scenes, or as most conjectured recently, even Mephisto which we know Marvel Studios and the MCU have been looking to use as a villain since the earliest parts of the Avengers. But of course, there's one villain in particular that hasn't been seen in the MCU since Doctor Strange 1. And now recently, that actor's not only confirmed his involvement and reappearance in Doctor Strange 2, but given some other details at that. We're going to break down what Chiwetel Ejiofor said in his most recent interview about the upcoming Doctor Strange sequel and any other small detail he revealed. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including this insane one-fourth scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So in an interview with comicbook.com about an upcoming different comic book series, that's The Old Guard. It'll be on Netflix this summer, actually next month. It was originally published by Image Comics. The same actor who plays Baron Mordo, Chiwetel Ejiofor, has a role in that. But of course, while in an interview with comicbook.com, they had to ask about Doctor Strange 2. Now, interestingly enough, one of the first questions they asked and let off with was, where was Baron Mordo during the events of Avengers Infinity War and Endgame? As last we saw him in Doctor Strange 1, he was intent on wiping all of the sorcerers off the face of the earth, to which he replied, all will be revealed, meaning we might get to see some backstory, some fill-in during the Avengers Infinity Saga to see what was going on with him before we see him in Doctor Strange 2. Then he went on to talk about the involvement of Sam Raimi now as a director with the film quote he's coming on and I'm very very excited about that obviously we've been sort of interrupted as the whole world has been in the pandemic but hopefully we are back on track with that and continuing quite soon so I'm very excited about it and this is great news considering that film would have been in production this month and now we've heard rumors coming from just a couple of days ago Bruce Campbell who will most likely have a cameo in that film as he does in most of Sam Raimi's films saying that they might not be back to production until 2021 either way there's some implications here if Barry Mordo is back as a villain in any capacity to continue the narrative and through line from Doctor Strange 1 he's probably not going to be there in a fringe capacity think about what I just said his whole bend if you remember from Doctor Strange 1 was eradicating sorcerers from Earth and his Scarlet Witch becomes more powerful more in tune with her powers and of course starts to learn the scope of everything she can do it would make sense that she would be raised on his list almost to number one as someone he wanted to take out but if in the meantime she's already started to open doors in the multiverse of madness to let someone like Mephisto through then there could obviously be an even bigger problem at hand either way I think a lot of us overlooked Baron Mordo and we hadn't heard any confirmation that he would be back in the film actually Quite to the contrary, some reports had Chiwetel Ejiofor departing from the franchise and had no idea what was going to happen with his character in lieu of that. And it seems as though that was never the case. He's been involved the entire time and we are very looking forward to here at the channel continuing his storyline as Baron Mordo is one of those deeper villains from the comics whose story has definitely not been told yet in the MCU. And as we've been focused on bigger villains for this next installment of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, it could be the case that Baron Mordo was the obvious villain the entire time guys let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments who would you like to see as the villain Mephisto would you want Nightmare and or is Baron Mordo enough for you if they use him to his full capacity I'm all ears let me know your thoughts down below and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which now is at the 700,000 subscriber mark. Of course, we will be giving away PlayStation 5s once they come out, but I can't announce that yet because the way that pre-orders are and with the delay in technology this year and everything we're at, we won't be announcing those till we actually have them in hand to give away at the end of the year. In the meantime, it's the PlayStation 4 Pros. If you wanna be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, 
then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes like this insane 1 4th scale XM Studios Beta Ray build. Now, if you're not familiar with collectibles like these, these are in no way action figures. This is almost 30 inches, a full three feet tall, an immaculate and very detailed representation of all of your favorite Marvel characters. And specifically, this statue came from the Gem Mint Collectibles store, and he actually did a full in-depth of this exact statue that we're giving away. I'll leave a link down to that down in the descriptions if you want to check it out. Either way, if you want to be entered to win any of the prizes here at the channel, the PlayStation 4 Pros, the limited edition XM Studios Beta Ray Bill, or any of the future prizes we come up with for the rest of the year, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. Leave a like and a comment on this video, and because it's truly random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, just like we're doing here. If you've missed any of the previous winner announcements, we've given away a ton of stuff this year. No worries, all you have to do is scroll back through the channel, look for the winner announcement and the sub count in the title, click on that video, and scroll to the end. My name's Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. If you want to find me in other places on the internet, I've got original music under All Fires on Spotify, and I've started streaming World of Warcraft in the last couple of months over on Twitch under Novellen. That's N-V-E-L-L-E-N, -L -L -E and I have to say it has turned into a wonderful, wonderful time with an awesome community over there. So if you're on Twitch and want to check it out, I'm live most nights. Guys, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.